Now something I've done with this Aero Scout is I have added some weights to the front because I don't feel like it's balanced well, but that's just me. I thought that uh, it needed some uh, weights. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many grams of weight I added, just a little, little knuckle of weight that I added to the front and I actually glued it to the inside of the uh, battery hatch. And in that way, and it just seems to balance perfectly. So let's see if we can't take it up. There we go. I mean, it's, it can be mildly. There, there's a knife edge with an arrow scout, a, a, a sloppy one. But uh, what we're gonna have to do is fly over here to our right, and I'm sorry, over to our left here, and we're gonna have to bring it in this way in order to land it. Because you wanna land, this plane does not have flaps. Let's just take it around this way one more time. Plane does not have flaps. So therefore you need to try to land into the wind if you at all possible. I have to avoid the goal post here. Let me bleed off some speed using my rudder here. Well, I'm still too hot. Still too hot. What I mean by being too hot, I'm coming in too fast. Most of y'all can understand what I mean by that. So let's go further out. Lead off the speed, we're coming in nice and level. You can see the wind is kind of blowing it to the side there, but that A3X is helping. There you go. So we can turn around. It's got those big old tires on there, which are great for a beginner. And now you can see the lights I've added to the leading edge of the wings. That's just for fun. You know, an, an easy way to remember uh, when you add lights to a model, the easy way to remember when you're looking at the model, as far as your colors, right is always red. Gonna take off now. Nice scale takeoff for a non-scale plane. <laughs> Let's see if we can't pull off that knife edge now. Now there we go. There's a knife edge with an arrow scout. We're gonna go back the opposite direction now. Let's see if we can't do a roll. Into the wind. Hey, there you go, a nice barrel roll. All right, I know I'm playing heck with my camera crew right now. We're gonna take it back over here to the right again, or left again, I'm sorry. And we're going to come back towards us and try to land it closer to our feet. If at all possible. Probably not close to our feet, but not too far off. All right. There you go. There's the Aero Scout. We're going to do one more takeoff and landing. And then we'll switch to something else. But now I'll give you a little closer of a look here. And uh, good looking little bird for a trainer. All right, we still got three minutes. So let's... And incidentally, I am running a Spectrum 2200 3 cell enter. And uh, you, I don't know if you caught just now, but underneath those wings, he yeah, had those black stripes. That's great for orientation. And uh, just great for a beginner, too. You got orange on top, and you got the black and white stripes on, on the underside. So let's bring her in for a landing. And this is just a nice little review of this wonderful little trainer. It's a great plane. And uh, I really like those lights. Especially those, light, those lights, because they, they're nice. They just... Make it great for seeing it. All right, we'll come back at us one more time. A little bouncy of a, of a landing, but then again, this terrain, as you can see, is not really conducive to a nice, smooth landing. Well, there it is, folks. That's the Aero Scout, Hobbies on Aero Scout. Are you a happy bird? You're a happy bird. Thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC, and God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and thank you so much for watching.